people production. Vlog and the go, me a vlog and the go. I got some information for you to know. Come to Live Foot TV at the right place, so let's go, don't go nowhere. Bless hello and greetings, good morning all my viewers and subscribers, my kings and queen, my line and my line. I hope all is blessed and as usual, always visual finds you all in the best of health. I don't know wherever you are all over the world, be up on yourself, stay safe, you know what I mean? And do good, be good, do the right thing. Now I have a video for showing with a girl, the lady, you know? Well, she talk about bugger things, she expose her, Sean Coombs and she expose herself. You know, Sean Coombs are PDD, Zine. <coughs> So come like she said them a trouble her upon her page, Instagram and she couldn't take it no more so she come out and attack up a bag of thing. I don't know it's allegedly seen. But you don't know them rapper ya whole heap sitting sitting. You see it? They're not easy at all. And it's also in the in the dance hall industry as well. The world long and the bad mind and you know? Yeah, but you were shall I say. I think it was like O three. Yeah. It was right before me and Music Soul Child did the uh, Grey Goose tour. There was a young woman, beautiful woman. She's a lawyer, or at least she was. Um, she used to be an entertainment lawyer. I'm not going to say her name. The story is enough. Because I don't know. I, I, I hope I won't be putting her in danger. Um... But she shouldn't have to feel afraid after all of these years, almost 20 years, you know. But uh, I had to give her a job. I shouldn't say I had to give her a job. I gave her a job uh, working for me so she could find some safety. Because while she was working at Bad Boy, because she was one of the lead counsels for Bad Boy Entertainment, <clears throat> um, she witnessed something. She witnessed something that was disturbing to her. But what was really disturbing to her was the conversation that she had with Diddy after. See, Christopher Williams, I don't know, I guess he wanted to sign. I don't know what happened. But Puff was supposed to be giving him a demo deal, and he gave him a demo deal. And I guess it was supposed to turn into an album deal, which that never happened. Um, but this young woman walked in to get approval on some paperwork. See? And, uh... When she walked in, the door wasn't locked, so she didn't think twice about just walking in. And when she walked in, she saw uh, Christopher Williams performing fellatio on Puff. Now, from what she said to me, um, it was disturbing because, you know, they didn't stop. She just walked out and she just kept her head down at the office the rest of the day, I believe it was. And. I don't think it was at the end of business day that day, but I think it was the following day. He came into her office and was like, yeah, so you came in there, so what? What you gonna do? You wanna say something? And she was like, oh no, I, you know, I just, she was like, I just don't understand why you left the door unlocked. If you were in there doing that, why would you leave the door unlocked? He said, I'll do whatever the fuck I wanna do in my building. And she was, I just don't know, he was like, it's power, see? I can make a man, he said, if I can make a man suck my dick, I can make people do anything for money. That's what you said, Puff, about Christopher Williams sucking your dick for a demo deal. And you cut him a check. And you chase that young woman out of New York, just like you tried to chase Wendy Williams out of New York. And she came to work for me. And I loved her working for me. And when she was finally cool and could find, you know, <clears throat> a good move to move forward. She did. She was with me for less than six months. But she was a wonderful woman. And she was a brilliant attorney. And she thought she was she was signing up for the ride of her life. You know, she, she's going to be, you know, head of legal at Bad Boy Entertainment and be a female. Like, that was a big deal. Until she accidentally walked into her boss's, you know, office and caught him getting hit from um, a movie star. Which he said was done for nothing more than an exercise of power. Because if he can make a man suck his dick, he can make anybody do anything. That's you, Puff. That's you, Honeycomb. That's why I call you Honeycomb. Because you smack so sweet. You chased that woman out of your offices because she saw you being you. And then you threatened 
to ruin her life. If she ever told anyone, but she did tell someone, she told me. And I've kept her secret all of these years. You better not try to do nothing to her either. Because she ain't got nothing to be ashamed of. It's not her fault you a sodomite. She ain't had nothing to do with you being no sodomite. Forcing men to do degrading acts just so you can prove how powerful you are. Take a fucking punch, bitch. Show people how powerful you are. I mean, from the way it sounds, what I'm saying shouldn't hurt you. You've been so cool with it for so long. What was that uh, video you did? I can't even remember who it was with. Was it with Usher or something? And you was in a hotel room and you had a dildo in the bed and everybody was trying to skip past that part. And you just had a dildo in the bed. What was you using it for? Who was you using it on? Was you using it on yourself? Did somebody else use it on you? Why are you doing videos in hotel rooms with dildos and men? Only men present. Because you're a sodomite. That's why. Like, I, I don't know if every man that's had a sexual dealing with you, if it's been consensual. You know, maybe you were holding some bad information over their head. Or, or, or maybe you had some, some bad information on their family. See, that's why I have exposed myself. That's why I have been transparent this entire time. Because y'all ain't going to use nothing that I've done against me. I'm going to blow me up. You should you should take a page out of my book. The, the truth will uh, it'll set you free. So yeah, um, Sean Combs, I'm charging you with sodomy. I'm charging you with being a divisive human being who will do anything for a dollar. I'm charging you with ruining multiple careers and with stealing great music away from the public. So you can get rich off of trash. How many fucking great artists have you blocked? How many people have you called and paid money to sign people? So that they could shelf them. So your projects could go on through. Everybody in your pocket, Puff. Probably because you got one of their secrets. You probably about the only other person in the industry that got more secrets than me. And that's because you know Clive Davis. And we all know he has lots of secrets. Clearly he trusts you. He stepped around Andre Harrell and gave you the keys to the kingdom. Andre was in line. But then again, you know, you had it in for Andre because Andre used to make you suck his dick. And Kim Porter had footage of it. I heard a whispering about it in the Kit Kat Club with somebody else. I ain't going to say who. She was in the bathroom. Get high. Talking about how she had you by the balls. And sure enough, two weeks later, she had that brand new Mercedes Benz that Andre Orell paid for. She got you good, Puff. I guess you finally got her back, huh? Right? You're alive and she dead. You won. See, what Andre did to you, it could have stopped with him. <clears throat> but you liked the power too much. So all you did... Was emulate what Andre Harrell did to you. See you were a victim. And then you became a victimizer. And that's what you chose. You need to tell everybody the truth about why. You never married Kim. Probably because she was blackmailing you. Because she had the goods on you. So did Nisha Battle. Nisha Battle had the goods on you too. There's a lot of chicks out there that got the goods on you. So, I am going to go to sleep with my gun, just in case shots start firing around here and I got a bus back. I'm going to give me some rest. <clears throat> but I promised, uh, I promised that I was going to expose you if motherfuckers kept acting a fool on my page on you and your artist Mary J. Blige behalf. So y'all did what y'all did and I'm doing what I'm doing and now I'm going to get some rest. But I will say this to you, Sean Combs. You might get me, but I got you first, bitch. And you're going to burn in hell for all the lives you've destroyed on so many different levels. All of these niggas out here might be scared of you. All of these niggas out here, you might got dirt on them. But guess what? 
I got more dirt on you than you got on me, Puff. And you owe Albie Shore an apology for not properly acknowledging him as the amazing father that he is. I'll be sure as an amazing father. He's an amazing grandfather. He's an amazing writer. And you hated him because he was gorgeous and more talented than you. And you knew he loved Kim. You knew he loved her. And you made sure that you got her out of the way. You're an asshole. You're a jealous little bitch. Running around diddling little boys and shit. You a punk. Why is anybody afraid of you when you ain't nothing but a punk? And all of them girls and all of them young boys that you put on planes. Flying here and there so that you could sexually harass them and torment them and coerce them into doing sexual acts that they didn't want to do because you had dirt on them or because you had money on them. Those are all federal crimes. Check the statutes. If you put a bitch or a nigga on a plane and you're taking them to be sexually abused in any way, that's trafficking. That's a 10 to 20. You'll do more time in jail than Shine did for covering your ass. And that's what you need to do. You need to go to jail. Do not press, uh, do not pass go, do not collect. 200 extra dollars. You got enough money. You need to pay reparations to everybody you fucked over. And you need to pay reparations to everybody who was ever signed to bad boy. You, you owe them money. Much as you stole from everybody, you probably still stealing, um, stealing from Mother Wallace. Biggie's uh, trust probably ain't seeing everything that it's supposed to see because you a sneaky little fucking bastard. $885 million. You got a house here. You got a house there. You got this. You got that. Why don't you look out for Faith? She was the first lady of Bad Boy. She was Big's wife. You made sure that happened. Why don't you look out for Faith? You owe these niggas money, yo. Take like $200 million of that eight eighty five you got. And just cut, cut, cut up, yeah, just cut a check. Cut everybody a million. Cut everybody a million. Trust me, they earned it. Fucking with you. They earned it. You're an asshole. And, um, there's other stories I could tell, but I told that story because it was attached to me. Because the woman that you scared into leaving New York came to me for refuge. See, I've been protecting women in this business for two decades. I've been looking out for women for two decades. Y'all niggas don't even fucking say thank you. But then again, how would you know? His press releases are so good. You might want to hire um, a new uh, press agent, Puff. Because I don't think the bitch you got on... Um, the bitch or the nigga that you got on payroll... Is gonna be able to spin this or get in front of it. Ah, uh, my viewers and subscribers, are you a chance, boy? Enough artists, speedy, world long, peer. Forget world long, who supposed to rise big and who are good songwriter. And them also paid other people for sign them. So, you know, when you sign a contract, it's like you're tied, you're in a bandage, you can't do certain things. Zine. So, a whole lot of things. Yes, when you have, your, have the money, the bigger heads, them, the syndicate them. They do anything for world long, the talented artists and the real ones them. Sabotage, you know, blackmail. Yeah man, world them don't now play the music. Enough, enough, enough ways. Them, enough string them can pull for world long people, you see me so? I don't know. A lion foot you know, you don't know. Big up on yourself and you don't know. Do the right things, stay safe and don't listen to what them say. I lie to my tell. See? Yeah man. Eat right, drink right, drink up your tea and all of them things there. Garlic and the ginger and you see me? Yeah, all of them things, you see me? All of you, everything, yeah. Healthy body, you see me? Peace and love. A lion foot. And I'm out. Lion foot TV. Subscribe. Press the bell or click the bell. <laughs>